how are we doing? As you see here, we're going to go paint pour. Um, I have been watching some videos. I have some, I've subscribed to some of the paint pour ladies that are out there. Um, and I've been having these pop up on my um, recommendations of these new ones that they're doing now. It's, um, they're paint clouds. So you know me, I got to try it. So I haven't done a paint pour in months. So I thought maybe like on Sundays I might do a paint pour here and there. Um, might be the new thing. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But don't want to make this too long so I want to do a couple of them. So here's the colors we got. Just gold. Uh, sparkling silver. Which is there. Velvet crush. Which is there. Uh, royal blue. Right there. And then we have a metallic ice blue, which is there. These three here are metallic. These two aren't, and that's just white. Okay. Now, the point of this is pouring them either. There's a couple techniques that they've been, been seeing them do. You can jiggle it. You can pour it in a circle. Or you can just slowly pour it and let it run. So, what I thought of is I came across this cup. It's just a to-go cup. But it has this hole in it. And a breather hole. So, what if we put that on there and we use that just to slowly let the paint. The whole point is to slowly let it do it without over pouring it too fast. And to get some kind of a pattern in there that can expand out and turn into these clouds. So... Let's do this. I'm gonna put. I want the blue to be at the end. I know this don't seem like it's gonna be much paint, but it is. Um, the whole thing is is to layer it. I don't know if mine are too thick or too thin right now, so we're gonna see. Um, this is a more or less experimental. I mean, it really is, guys. I, I'm i just a player in paints. Um, I'm not a pro professional in any way. If you want to see, go watch um, Pour Your Heart Out. Um, there's quite a few of them out there, honestly. Okay, now we're going to throw some white in here. Now the white I made a little thicker so I can get a better layer. And we're gonna go with this other blue but they seem to be layering very well for me so far Let's throw some gold in there i just happened to pick out these colors because i had them um i had went and grabbed some paint for some projects and they had buy one get one free so yeah I end up with some extra colors that I thought of I might be using. Okay, there's our purple. We keep adding the white. The white gives you the layers. Um, from what I caught on to, it gives you the rings is what you want. I can't play more silver because I got way too much silver in there. And silver will really easily take over a painting. That I did learn before. If you want to check out some of my old paintings from last year, go back to the beginning and you'll see all the um, different things I did. I mean, some came out really awesome. Some came out, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say they were the best I ever did. But there are some really cool ones. I'm going to throw some white in there again for some more rings. And we're just going to top it off with what I got left here. Uh, we got some more gold. Gold I want to definitely show up. We'll throw just a little silver in there. Just for the sparkle. And then some more white. We want the white to top it off. Okay. Let me move all the cups. I 
think we have more than enough paint in there to do it. that little canvas. I have another big canvas that's a little bit bigger. All I did was take one of my old canvases and I chalk painted it and then I clear coated it. So we're going to find out if that works. Repurposing canvases. Okay, let me put this on a hard surface so I can snap this shut. Okay, she snapped shut, guys. Now, do I do a puddle pour or do I do a direct? That is the question. Let's do a puddle pour, guys. I always seen that found out that worked really good. It gives you something to pour into. And it seems to make the colors come out better. So here we go, guys. Here goes nothing. Let's see what happens. I'm going to try to go with the rings. See what happens. Probably going way too fast. I hope not. This is the hardest part, guys. Really. Watch them and you'll see. It's amazing what they do. Having the steady hand. Make that continuous pattern. And that's the whole point of it. It's really hard. Sorry you guys can't see down here. But I'm just trying to let it run out all the way down to the bottom. Just to the end. See if I can get it all out. To get the most swirls I can get into it. Because my white's down there and it's coming through which you will get to see here momentarily it's almost done and I think we put just enough paint in there okay she's really sparkly that's what I was hoping for that's why I threw in the three are the two um, metallics in there? I really wanted that spark on this, so we're gonna stay. We're gonna um, see what happens here and just let this sort of settle and do its thing and not mess with it. I know that light's right there, guys. That's not white paint. That's my alert darn light. Um, there's nothing I can do. May reduce it a little bit for you guys. There we go. Yeah, we're going to let it do its thing for a minute here. Um, as I say that. I'm going to open it. The whole thing is to keep that thing in the middle. Um, I don't think I put enough white. That's the problem. Open, open. There we go. Got a lot of lines. I want to try to stretch them open a little more. See if I can get some more to them. I don't know if my paints are too thin or too thick. There we go. I 
see we got a lot of wavy lines and they didn't have wavy lines they had fat lines wow now that's a crazy painting guys there's a lot of sparkle in there i'll tell you i can show you that much um yeah i'm just gonna leave them corners like that i sort of like that i guess we're going for psychedelic and not bubbles or uh clouds i think we're a little more on the psychedelic side Okay. Trying to wipe my hands off here a little bit. In case I decide to do anything with it again. Ah, uh, that. It's like a big divot. Let's do some more. Let's see if we can get this to open up a little bit. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why we got such a big divot of all places dead in the center. See that? Yeah, that's like where all my white's at and my blue. Ain't that crazy? But we're gonna let it sit here for a minute. Um, I just would like to open. I don't know what that is. Oh, that wasn't good. I had a chunk there. Darn it. Gosh. It's just not opening enough like it should. My lines are so tight. Um, I guess that made too tight of lines. That's what it was. Sort of looks like a butterfly wing of a unicorn. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely got the sparkles. It's This would be, yeah, something a young girl would probably like hanging in her room. Let me show you guys what we got. Man, that darn light. Uh, let's do this. Still not helping, but you can see the sparkle, guys. Yeah. Amazing colors in there. Like, wow, look at that. I mean, yeah, see the big glob in the middle? Gold. I mean, it's definitely sparkly. Like I said, it's all sparkles. Let me try changing lights once real quick here. And see if we can get rid of that big white dot. There we go. Give you guys some true color of what it looks like. There we are. Yeah. Like I said, she's sparkly. Focus in. Lots of blues. It did not come out anything like I thought it was going to. So, like I said, we're going to do another one. Maybe I'll put this one up. Maybe I won't. So if you're watching it, I decided to put it up. So there's our paint pour rings. I'm searching souls, guys. Peace.